You're going to be answering a question by building it. One of the questions that you heard, and your answer is going to be tangible. Remember that something that is visible that others can see. It might it, the form can be made out of paper and tape and strips like Michael and mine. It can be a form created that's a physical enactment, that's human bodies. So with that, go forth and prototype. Great. Go grab stuff. Thank you. Go for it. No money for change. It's powerful to get out of your head, play with your hands and dream. People, um, people design how this could unfold across communities, what it might look like as a consulting practice. Um, the whole idea that money's been at the center of our economic universe and what if that shifts and people or the environment or spirituality are at the center. It's just been a wonderful process. And our follow through is we're gonna all send me, because they all have my card, name, who, who you, what you're doing in the world, email address so we can stay in touch and then insights from this as they percolate up. It's been a blast. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, this is the Occupy Minneapolis slash Minnesota group. So this is the cartoon and I have the caption. Trust. <laughs> Respect. Different distances. Communications. Healing historical trauma. Touch. Solidarity. <laughs> A meeting in February, inviting all groups affiliated with Occupy to come together in a non-general assembly. Connection. Plant seeds. Seeds underneath. To do this. <laughs> this has been like the most amazing morning ever. I worked with such incredibly gifted, talented, passionate individuals and our, our whole theme today was around building relationships and creating connections amongst people who are really compelled by the story of providing education for children and women to break two generations of poverty. And so I'm just thrilled because they also all agreed to host tables and come together and bring their friends and help raise money, but most importantly, raise friends and awareness. So thank you so much to all of you. I appreciate you so much. We are the uh, Native American Somali Friendship Group, a group that was born out of conflict. So in our ideas, we had uh, two circles, and we have kids on a playground with a circle, building together with the community with a diverse group building together to create a new playground as a project. And then we had a representative of a circle with the different animals, where we have the larger and smaller ones representing elders and young kids coming together. And where before we had conflict as our, our, our way to express ourselves, we, we formed this through this idea and we created like a whale spouting up new ideas, <laughs> taking that energy and out of that came water and seeds and the seeds are dropping down into the earth and spouting new ideas of how to live together. Mm -hmm. We are the, yes, the Green Guild and this is to form a group of people as like a flock of them that are supporting the um, efforts of, of environment and being as one with the environment. So we are resources as well, it's resources and structure. So we created some structures and it was based on the elements of nature. Um, right, so we started out with water being the most powerful structure, the center and, um, and that, is, that structure then uh, propelled outwards so it was a triangle with the blue in the middle and the seed and it expanded out with the fire um, and the, the people, the green and the wood that's growing up and it expanded into the sun. And that's all supported with a structure of iron. So those five elements are what create this world. And C. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing, all right. Our group is a, the transition town, the Portland Rose, and we, um, we got some great insight from people. Um, we need to do more stargazing, laying on the ground, looking up at the sky. Um, also, we realize that we were strong on action, but we need to do more of 
just friendship for friendship's sake and see what comes out of that. Um, blackboard, a community blackboards, uh, getting pizza ovens, um, let's see, camping trips, community singing, and um, small actions, small actions that instead of big community things that can spread out and ripple out from there and create something bigger from something doable and small. This is the Wisdom Dances group. We have invoked the tree of life and there's DNA and we danced, so that was good. And I, um, I told my group, I'm thinking, well, there's this thing on Sunday, this global Occupy Body Day, should I do something? And they're like, yes, that's rapid prototyping. So I found the like, rapid to prototyping deadline as well as some great ideas for integrating the ideas of, um, well, just feeling very deeply understood in what I'm trying to do, which is wonderful and encourage that it needs to be done, and some ideas of kind of a focus for upcoming uh, workshops on things of drought and stuff like that. Uh, the CEO, CEO in the cave uh, resonated with a lot of people. Uh, this first one here is, um, is a combination of a, of a number of things. Uh, and, and one uh, the overarching thing for me that came out was that leaders, there's, challenge, there's challenges of leadership. Okay. In many ways, they, uh, leaders have the freedom to do things, and in other ways, they don't have the freedom to do things, uh, which is shown by the time, you can't really see it here, but the tying of the feet of the board. The board influences a lot of uh, what happens in an organization, and a lot of the current structures that are in place shield the CEO from actually knowing what's going on in the organization. That's, so that's the dunce camp. The CEO may be actually be the dunce, because they're so removed from, the, from what really happens. And uh, this, this is a book on Theory U that maybe if we gave the CEO space, they would actually read some things that are important. <laughs> we are the In Commons Ambassador Group, and I'd like to start by saying that this group of people holds an amazing amount of collective wisdom, and I'm so grateful for all that you've shared. Um, I think the first thing that came out of our discussion is very tangible, and the word ambassador is out. So, <laughs> so that's great. And we, we explored a lot of other words um, that are really powerful. We talked about how the hubs that we need in Minnesota are already here, that we need to raise them up, to shine light on them, and to find our common values that unite us as we're trying to do good in this state and that that might be a role that in commons can play as so we try and link the amazing work that's already happening around values. Um, we also talked about if we're talking hub or solar system, what's in the middle? It's very clear it's not in commons, but what is it? Maybe it's the common good, and then in commons is more invisible. Um, we talked about this amazing project of educating parents on how to get their uh, education raised to a new level when working with other children, their own, and then building capacity in the community. So we talked about this in terms of a ripple effect. And that you throw the stone in of training one individual what that can do to the community by reducing health concerns and increasing school effectiveness and reducing crime and building capacity in families, building economic security, reducing child abuse. We talked about the use of data. We talked about all of the different ways to market, using stories to make the data real to potential funders. And then after we talked about all of this, we talked about Huda actually focusing on partnering with individuals and entities that already have this in place. Thank you. <laughs> Where once lie urban blight now sits luscious garden sites. Um, we're Project Sweetie Pie, and we try to articulate that in our artistic creation here. Well, one of the things we realized is by all of us participating in this, that we really unleashed our creativity and, and just amazing ideas came out. Um, one of the things is when we participate with the community, it's multidimensional. So you see this one and that one over there. Can you hold that one up? It, they're uh, multidimensional rather than linear. And so what this project does is it engages multi-sectors in the community, including youth, um, uh, um, uh, landscapes, uh, veterans. 
veterans, uh, beautification of our community, uh, productivity, entrepreneurship, and leadership. Good, thank you. Um, before we head back to our seats, just one huge round of applause and cheers and shouts for the work that you just put through. Yeah.